Hey guys, it's Jacob here, and um, this is just going to kind of be a little bit of a continuation of where my last video was. Just I decided to make this video tonight, but um, my last video, if you guys don't know, was discussing uh, Z-Panel. Now you guys all know what C-Panel is. It's the, the control panel for, um, like, if you're going to start a web hosting company. So um, I was actually very, very disappointed as I looked further into it. Because, okay, here we have Z-Panel, and I showed it to you guys. I showed it, I demonstrated it to you, and it will work just as I demonstrated it. But the problem is, is um, obviously, if you're going to start a web hosting company or you want to, you know, host websites for people, you're not going to do all this on one server. It's just not going to be possible. You're going to have to have many, many servers. And what you would want to ideally do is break it up into, say, a MySQL server, uh, you know, you'd have your LAMP clusters, or not your LAMP, but your Apache clusters, and, um, you know, um, you just break it up, and you'd also have maybe servers just specifically to store all your files as well, and then you'd have your email servers and stuff like that. Well, the problem is, is ZPanel here is not, it doesn't really allow you to do that, or at least very easily. I've been kind of puzzled for the past couple of hours trying to figure out if there is a way I could possibly do it, but I've, you know, I've yet to figure anything out. So, here's the problem with it. I mean, it's it's very you know it's open source. It's you know it's across many operating systems. It's great. It works fantastic. The problem is is there's no you know how when you download something and you can just install it and throw it in a www directory inside a inside a web server. Well, this doesn't really work like that. It actually installs it onto the server along with all the other services with it. So the problem is is I can't just throw it on a web server. It gives me the web server with it. And the web server is very specific to ZPanel. So this restricts me greatly in trying to create a cluster of many servers working together. And actually, I almost like, I pretty much confirmed it. I still think there may be a very complex way to do it. But again, I, I've yet to figure it out. But anyways, if, if you go to this, I found this very interesting. It's on Wikipedia. It's a comparison of web hosting control panels. So these are all the free ones right here. These are all free, but um, you know, there's all the free ones, and then there's all the the paid ones. You know, you guys all know like the most popular one is cPanel, and it's it has a lot of features and whatnot, but it's not free. You have to pay a license for it, and it is very expensive. I did look into it, but anyways, so we're looking here at the uh, where is it cPanel. Now, there's an interesting category over here which says multi-server support, and we can see that it's it does not support multi-server there. So we can see that it's not going to allow you to to create clusters of servers together in order to run this uh, ZPanel service, and that's a huge, huge downside. That's a that's a negative. You can't have you know you can't start a web hosting business. You can't do anything. It's practically useless if you can't run it across multiple servers because. If you can't run it across multiple servers, I mean, how are you going to possibly, you know, host that many websites? You can only host so many. So that's a that's a big downside. So I looked into it and to other services, and the one that I like, or the one that I think is best, I think, so far, is this ISP config. I don't know much about it. I haven't installed it or anything yet. But just looking at all of them here, um, this one also looks cool. It's the Webmin. The problem with it is I don't really like, I'm not a big fan of Perl. I don't know, I just never was a big Perl fan. Um, I know it's pretty simple, but I think I just don't like it because I don't know it. You know, that's why. I'm more of a PHP fan because I know I know PHP, but that's for personal preference. Anyways, it really has nothing to do with any of this. But these are all multi-server support, so you can easily run these across multiple servers, which is what it's saying, which is good. So, um... Eventually, in the future, I'm going to do a tutorial on large-scale web um, hosting. It's across many, many servers, and you could create your, almost your own business out of it if you have all the, the uh, you know, what's it called? All the materials and crap to build it, all the resources. Um, so this looks like, so far, the best one. Obviously, if you're going to start your own hosting company, I recommend you just grab a license and throw cPanel on your servers because if you're going to make people pay for your service you're going to want to give them a good control panel, which would be cPanel. Um, zPanel is very, very close to cPanel. It's actually a very, very nice, uh, where'd it go? Oh, it's actually up here because we reorganized it. But zPanel is, um, is it's, it's a very, very nice interface, but it's 
the the big downside is that it can't run across multiple servers. It's got pretty much everything we're looking for. It just doesn't have that multiple server. So I mean, what's weird is it runs inside of it runs with PHP MySQL and of course Apache. So it runs with LAMP, and then it'll run um the Pro FTPD file server for FTP, and then it'll run a uh, Postfix for serving mail. Um, but it'll install all those services when you go here. If you go to the download, see this is where you really get screwed here. So I thought, because it has this, um, you could also grab a, a zip file of it down here, this zip, and I thought, oh, I'll just unzip it and throw it in my www directory, but that didn't work. So you actually, when you install it on Linux, on, on Ubuntu, you actually have to, uh, or, or um, Windows, you have to install the LAMP or the WAMP with it. So it installs your Apache, your MySQL, PHP, all that stuff with it. And it's not the same structure as a standard normal server where you just have like a www directory and all your craps in there. It's not quite like that. It's a little bit, you know, different. And it's quite more complex. And it's very, very difficult to take those files or take those services and blend them with other servers to create a, a really large array or like a, a cluster of servers. And I've tried, I've tried many different ways. I've tried to make two servers with these services installed and try and put them together. And I've also tried to just take the actual PHP files and stuff and install them onto my own uh, LAMP server in the www directory and install the mysql databases and everything and tried to get it to run on my own server the own uh lamp server that i'm used to and then i could cluster that but that's uh also proven to be very difficult um so so far it's just been a complete failure trying to get this to run across multiple servers but if anyone has gotten this to run inside wamp or lamp without installing without the services that come with it just in running it in your own um Apache, MySQL, and PHP, uh, then definitely leave a comment below because I'd be really interested in that. But so far, I'll look a little bit more into this and try and see if I can crack it, but I don't think I will be able to. Uh, so in the tutorials, we'll probably actually be using this ISP config software because it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at it. And it supports the, uh, the multiple servers. It's got a BSD license. It runs inside Linux. Um, so here you can actually run a live demo of it, which is pretty cool. It's got a lot of stuff, but like I said, I mean, it's not very visually pleasing. It's not the best of the best, you know, it's, it's not cPanel for sure. But, it, it, you know, it, right here it says single and multi-server, so you can run it across multi-servers, and they, that's like one of the first things they stress. So they're obviously pretty proud of it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a free solution, you know? You, you get what you pay for and it's free so you know you can't ask for the best of the best unless you're gonna pay for it so that's what you have like things like cPanel for but again I mean if you go to cPanel we'll just let's check out cPanel real quick and cPanel is a very very uh, advanced whoops compared to any of these but let's go ahead and check it check out cPanel go to their website and you guys hear my, my computer about to explode? It's pretty crazy, right? Um, anyways, here it is. If you go to plans and pricing, prepare to bold your eyes out. They don't even really tell you the exact prices, but I mean, you can do a monthly or a yearly billing cycle, and it says, want to purchase a $300 a month license? Like, wow, $300 a month is pretty damn expensive, you know? That's that's really expensive. So, I don't know if this is like an ad or something, but that seems like an actual license, which is pretty damn expensive. And I could imagine it being that expensive, um, especially if you're going to be like a huge corporation and you're going to be, you know, uh, hosting thousands and thousands of websites. You're going to have lots of clients, and they're going to be paying you, so it will pay itself off very quickly. But to start out, you know, as a small company, just barely starting out to host websites, you can't afford a three hundred dollar a month license. So, it's very, uh, very expensive to to start out with. Of course, they have the live demo too, but um, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I just wanted to show you the difference in different types of control panels and whatnot, and the down and upsides to them, uh, 
but it's really important that you do have that option to span across multiple servers. Um, again, go ahead and check out this list here. It's a comparison of all these servers, and you can see what they have to offer, what uh, platforms they will run on, you know, their last uh, release, and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I just wanted to show you that. Um, and in the future, we will be doing tutorials on like large scale web hosting. So that's it for this one, guys. And like always, have a good one.